What are the signs of high and low blood sugar? The symptoms vary depending on whether you have hyperglycemia or hypoglycemia. Find out how to spot the warning signs and stabilize your glucose. Gluco Trust is a new supplement manufactured in the USA that contains a formula of all natural ingredients. These ingredients work together to promote healthy blood sugar levels, safe and effective weight loss, and better sleep. To find out more about this supplement, you may follow the link in the description below. One of the challenges of managing diabetes is maintaining consistent blood sugar glucose levels. Even with diligence, some situations can cause high blood sugar or hyperglycemia, while others can bring on low blood sugar or hypoglycemia. After all, it's not just carbohydrate intake that influences the amount of glucose coursing through your bloodstream when you have type 2 diabetes. Emotional stress and certain medications can increase your blood sugar levels, and a boost in activity can cause it to drop. Sometimes people experience a spike in their blood sugar early in the morning due to the dawn effect, a temporary surge of hormones that occurs as the body prepares to wake. For people with diabetes, managing blood glucose levels is especially important. Levels that are too low or high can result in complications that affect your kidneys, heart, and vision, reduce your quality of life, require expensive interventions, or even be fatal. The more prepared you are to spot the signs of both high and low levels, the better able you'll be to quickly and easily bring them back within a desired range, and stay healthy. What's the right range for you? The answer is slightly different for everyone, and your doctor can help you pinpoint yours. The American Diabetes Association generally recommends trying to stay within these blood sugar targets. Between 80 and 130 mg per deciliter before meals less than 180 mg per deciliter 2 hours after meals. The first step to staying in these ranges, and course correcting high and low blood sugar levels along the way, is to monitor your blood sugar levels with a glucose meter. Clinical guidelines published January 2017 in Diabetes Care, the Journal of the American Diabetes Association, recommend that anyone taking insulin test their glucose at least 4 times per day, and as many as 12 times per day. Those who are pregnant, or have difficulty maintaining healthy blood sugar levels also need to test their blood sugar more often. Factors that increase the ideal testing frequency include the type of insulin, past levels of glucose control, and symptoms. Some people with diabetes can benefit from continuous glucose monitoring, a device that allows you to get readings without finger pricks every 5 minutes, she says. High glucose levels occur when the body doesn't have enough insulin, or can't properly use the insulin it has to shuttle glucose from the bloodstream to the body's muscles, organs, and tissues for fuel. As a result, the amount of sugar in the blood builds up. Hyperglycemia typically happens when you consume more carbohydrates or bigger portions of food than usual, if you don't take enough insulin or other diabetes medication as prescribed, and if you decrease your levels of physical activity. Heightened stress levels can also increase blood sugar levels. Non-diabetes-related medications that are known to raise blood sugar levels include steroids, beta blockers, birth control pills, and many mental health medications. Signs of high blood sugar include frequent urination, fatigue, dry or itchy skin, feeling thirsty, more frequent infections, and eating more food but not gaining as much weight as usual. High blood sugar levels can cause these symptoms through various mechanisms. For example, High blood sugar levels damage blood vessels and nerves throughout the body. They can also deprive organs of energy and can cause fluid to accumulate in the eyes, and in an attempt to get your blood sugar to a healthier level, your body will often increase urine output. A blood sugar reading above 180 mg per deciliter is considered above normal and can bring on these symptoms, although it's possible to have high blood sugar without any symptoms. A reading above 300 mg per deciliter can be dangerous, which recommends immediately informing your doctor if you have two, or more readings of 300 mg per deciliter in a row. In severe cases, very high blood sugar levels, well above 300 mg per deciliter can result in coma. If you experience mental confusion, nausea, or dizziness, proceed to the emergency room. Ways to treat high blood sugar. Take your medications as directed. Missing doses or taking insulin or other diabetes managing medications at incorrect times can lead to large fluctuations in blood sugar levels up or down. Apps such as Metasafe, which is free to download on the App Store and on Google Play, can help you stay on top of your medication regimen. 
The top-rated app allows you to plug your meds into your calendar and set reminders so you never miss a dose. Eat carbohydrates in moderation. The American Diabetes Association recommends an individualized carb count for everyone with diabetes. Higher intakes can result in hyperglycemia and lower intakes in hypoglycemia. Count carbs by using an app such as the Carb Manager Keto Diet app, which is top rated and free to download on the App Store and Google Play. It's not just for those on the ketogenic diet, with the free version, you can record food, track your carb and calorie intake, monitor weight loss, and log workouts. Exercise regularly with your doctor's guidance. Exercise can lower blood sugar in the short term by using glucose for fuel. It can also help you manage your blood sugar over the long term by increasing insulin health. Plenty of exercise apps and free online resources exist. Work with your certified diabetes care and education specialist to come up with an individualized exercise plan. Low blood sugar levels happen when there's too little glucose left in the bloodstream to continue supplying fuel to your organs, muscles, and tissues. It most often occurs when you don't eat enough food, especially carb-containing foods, given your blood sugar lowering medications and physical activity levels. Levels can decrease gradually or suddenly. When the amount of glucose in the bloodstream drops to too low levels, the body reacts by releasing epinephrine, also called adrenaline or the fight, or flight hormone. Epinephrine revs your heart rate and can cause sweating, shaking, anxiety, and irritability. If not enough glucose is able to reach the brain, the result may be difficulty concentrating, confused thinking, and slurred speech. In extreme cases, a lack of glucose within the brain can lead to seizures, coma, and even death. People with low glucose levels, lower than 70 mg per deciliter can use the American Diabetes Association's 15 to 15 rule, which advises people consume 15 gram of carbs, wait 15 minutes, and check their levels again. If the number is still low, repeat until reaching at least 70 mg per deciliter. You can find 15 grams of carbs in, one slice of bread, one small piece of fresh fruit, two per three cup of yogurt, half to one cup of juice, skim milk, or regular soda, 3-4 to four hard candies, such as Jolly Rancher or Werther's Original, glucose tablets, such as Rely On and True Plus, as indicated on the label, and glucose gel, such as Glutose 15 and Insta Glucose, as indicated on the label. Once your glucose levels are back to normal, the American Diabetes Association suggests going ahead and eating your next scheduled meal or snack, which will help prevent levels from dropping again. But if your symptoms don't stop, Call your doctor or seek medical attention. If you experience more than two blood sugar readings below 70 mg per deciliter in a week, notify your doctor and go over your treatment plan. A few final notes on keeping blood sugar stable. Taking an active, intentional approach to your blood sugar levels is crucial to your quality of life and overall health. Avoiding too high or too low blood sugar levels will help you avoid adverse symptoms and health complications, and staying within your target range can enable you to feel your best and do whatever you want to do in life. Test your blood sugar regularly, listen to your body, and don't ever hesitate to reach out to your doctor.